Okay, today's lesson is going to be about the relationship between fractions and decimals. Now, first of all, what we need to know before we go into the lesson is what is a fraction and what is a decimal. And when I say what it is, I don't want it to just be, okay, a fraction is a number with a, t a number on top, call it the numerator, and a number on the bottom, that's the denominator, okay, there's your fraction. A decimal is a number behind a decimal point. No, what I'm looking for is what it is. What is a fraction? What is a decimal? Let's break it down. To do that, the first thing we have to do is find out what a whole is. One, the number one, a whole. One whole is equal to one. What we have here is a pizza. Everyone likes pizza. We like pizza, right? Yeah. We, li we like pizza, right? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Here we have one pepperoni pizza. Got the pepperoni there. It's one whole pizza. Now, when we slice it up, you go to Domino's or whatever, you slice it up, you can put it into, let's put it into fourths. We've taken this whole pizza. It's still a whole pizza. No one's eaten a slice yet. It's one whole pizza. And now we've sliced it into four slices. We've got four slices. So we've got four slices, one, two, three, four, out of four. I'm going to highlight this, out of. That's going to be a key word to our lesson today when we're dealing with fractions, out of. So let's take a look at this pizza again that we all like to eat. Here's the pepperoni pizza. We've got four slices of it. It is one whole pizza. So now we decide to eat a slice. That's what it's for. So we come here. Now we've just ate one pizza, one slice. We ate a slice of the pie. So now it's not four-fourths. It's not a whole pizza anymore. We've ate a slice. It's no longer one whole. It is now, how many slices are left? Three. We've got three slices out of four. Now, that is the key, knowing that we do not, I repeat, do not have one whole pizza, that's where we start dealing with fractions and decimals, because we no longer have one whole. We take this pizza, and we look at it, it doesn't have to have four slices. Say we have, let's draw another pizza here, we'll just make some We'll call it an olive pizza since it's in black. That's fine. I'm a big fan of olives, but we'll make it work for now. And now we take this olive pizza, and now let's cut it in, not in the four slices. Let's now cut it into eight. I think that's the standard size of Domino's. We've got our four slices there. Let's cut in eights. We slice that in half right there. Slice that in half right there. Now we're looking at one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. This pizza has eight slices. And we're going to put that down there as our denominator. Now, with this eight slices of pizza, the thing we need to remember, this, slice of this pizza has four slices. It had four slices. This pizza has eight slices. The key to remember, it's still one whole. Doesn't matter how many times we cut this, this pizza, we had in fours here, you cut in the eighths. Heck, you want to cut in the sixteenths? That's fine. It's still one whole pizza. When we take, start taking slices and eating them, that's where we deal with fractions and decimals. And when you think of fractions and decimals, we're going to go into this a little bit. I want you to think of brother and sister. That's how well they're related.